Welcome back to SEO Crash Course for WordPress users. This video is about robots.txt and how you can edit the file with WordPress. You need to use a robots.txt file to specify which sections of your site should and which should not be accessible to search engines. For example, you don't need the uh, wp-admin directory to be crawled and indexed by search engines because it's intended for internal use only. robots.txt file is a plain text file and uh, it should be placed in the root directory on your server, which means you need to place it in the same folder where you have your website files and folders on the server. You need to specifically call it robots.txt, otherwise it's not gonna work. So if you go to uh, webdesi.com and add forward slash robots.txt, you're going to see the content of the file over here. So as you can see, it's right in the uh, root directory on my server. Okay, thing is, WordPress uses a virtual robots.txt file. That means you won't find uh, this file on your FTP server for editing or whatnot, because it's created dynamically each time a user visits your site, though it's visible if you add forward slash robots.txt to your site URL, as you can see here. Still, it's not available on your server if you try to find it with the help of your FTP manager, such as Qt FTP, FileZilla, or CyberDoc. In case you want to have the option to specifically edit your robots.txt file manually, you should install the WP robots.txt plugin or any other plugin that works that way. It's gonna allow you to edit your robots.txt file right in your WordPress dashboard. So let's install the plugin and see how exactly it works. While in your WordPress dashboard, go to plugins and select add new. Now just type in the name of the plugin, which is WP robots.txt. Now hit the search plugins button. Having found the plugin, just click the uh, install now link. You should have a pop-up window now that uh, double checks if you really want to install the plugin. Just uh, click OK. Now just click the activate plugin option. This point you can just uh, expand the settings drop down menu and select reading. Now just find the robots.txt content text field and uh, what the field contains is the content of your actual robots.txt file. As a matter of fact, your code can be a bit different and that depends on the way you installed your WordPress. For example, if you installed your WordPress in a subdirectory on your server, it can look like this. So as you can see, it's uh, in the webdesi-wp directory and then we have the wp-admin directory. So we're just uh, specifying the path to, uh, to this directory. And the same holds true here. The wp uh, includes directory is inside the uh, webdesi-wp directory. I'm just gonna delete the subdirectory. Anyways, it should block by default the following directories from indexing wp-admin and wp-includes. Though the default settings are workable as well, it's still best WordPress SEO practices to modify it just a bit so that your robots.txt file looks as follows. The first line shows which exactly crawling robot you want to target, and uh, an asterisk means that you want to target all of them. In other words, you're saying, hey, all of you search robots, act as follows. Alternatively, you can uh, point to specific crawlers such as uh, Googlebot, Rogerbot, etc. So instead of user dash agent colon asterisk, Googlebot. And that's how you can uh, target Google specifically. But uh, I'm gonna use the default setting for the first line. The rest of the code just disallows access to uh, specified directories such as feed, trackbacks, and so on. 
Since you want to have the option to rank in search engines with the content that is uh, in the uploads directory, actually wp-content-uploads, the second to last line actually allows access to the subdirectory so that again you can rank with the content of the directory uh, such as images or whatnot. And the last line just points to the location of your sitemap.xml file which Google and uh, other search engines use for properly crawling your site. In case you want to fine-tune your robots.txt settings, let me explain how to do it. And before we go any further, make sure that your robots.txt file does not say the following disallow column forward slash because it means that you disallow access to all your sites so search engines will index nothing just keep in mind that you don't want that rule in your robots.txt file speaking of which take a look at this SEO nerdy joke so there is a chick and uh, there is a guy and some content from a robots.txt file so it says user dash agent colon lane guy I believe it's this guy disallow colon forward slash which means everything in other words this chick disallows everything to the guy hopefully this joke can help you to better understand how disallow colon forward slash works okay let's move on so to target a specific directory just enclose its name with slashes for example disallow colon forward slash wp content forward slash so this way you disallow access to all the content in the wp dash content directory in order to target a specific file you just need to define a path to the file along with its name for example just add your dash file dot php so this is how you can uh, disallow access to uh, specifically your dash file.php that is located in the wp dash content directory. You can actually uh, point uh, like that to all sorts of files. So it can be an HTML file, it can be an image file, for example, PNG. Also, it can be a CSS file, pretty much all kinds of files. That said, I'd like to mention one really widespread issue. You may need to uh, disable dynamic URL indexing. A dynamic URL is one that contains a question mark. Such URLs can cause all sorts of SEO issues, duplicate content, duplicate page title, etc. And uh, that's actually why you usually want to disable search engines from indexing pages with uh, such URLs, dynamic URLs. You can easily do it with the help of robots.txt file just by adding the following line. Disallow colon forward slash asterisk question mark. Thus you disallow access to your dynamic pages and search engines just will not index it. So before I wrap up I just uh, paste in the recommended uh, code for WordPress robots.txt file. Again that's uh, this one that that's the copy that you uh, that you're supposed to use that done you need to uh, save your changes by clicking the save changes button so now you know why you need your robots.txt file and how to use it in case you're watching this video on YouTube feel free to uh, subscribe to uh, the channel just click on subscribe also you may want to uh, share this video in Facebook, Twitter, Google+, and uh, whatever else works for you. Other than that, feel free to uh, leave your comments or ask questions. I'll be more than happy to assist you. In case you want to create a high-quality website and you want to do it fast, you can just uh, click on the link that you can see on your screen now it's gonna redirect you to webvisit.com now click the theme forest banner say you have a WordPress site just select WordPress just uh, look through the the awesome designs here select the one they really like just click on it see the features that it has 
and uh, if you really like what it offers and how it looks you can just click purchase and uh, within approximately 10 minutes it's going to be in your inbox and you'll be able to apply it to your uh, either existing website or just create a brand new one with your amazing design. Thanks for your time. Have a great day.